This week we're going to talk about how to glaze our cupcake. So if your cupcake is ready, you're going to get a message from me on Teams. Go get it at school. It's going to be really cool and neat like this. It's going to be all white. It's going to be nice and hard. Still very fragile, so be careful. And you're also going to get some glaze. Now glaze is a special kind of paint that we use for ceramic. Because once you're done painting this, you're gonna bring it back to school. I will put it back into the kiln and by firing it, all of this really boring colors are gonna get super bright and they're gonna get all nice and shiny and you're gonna love it forever. Okay, so I'm gonna start by showing you how to do the bottom of our cupcake. Now, just like when we do some kind of paintings that's not watercolor, you got to make sure that you always have a cup of water and a paintbrush, but you have to squeeze the water out. So don't forget, okay? So always make sure your paintbrush is nice and dry. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to go. Now, all of these little colors right here, you're going to have to use it two times, okay? So try to use different colors um, for the top and for the bottom. Don't make it all the same color. I'm going to use for the inside of my cupcake. I could do the outside of my cupcake, but do not do underneath. So the part that would touch the table, do not paint that area, okay? If you paint this and I put it in a kiln, it will get stuck to the bottom of the kiln. So try not to paint this part right here. So I'm gonna start, let's say I would like to have the inside blue. So I'm gonna take some of that glaze and I'm going to spread it around everywhere inside my little cup. Now we're going to have to do this two times. I know this could be a little bit boring sometimes, but you kind of have to do that. If you don't, even though this color right now looks really nice and bright and everything, when you don't do it two times, um, it won't shine as well and it will be a little bit see-through. Okay, I'm going all the way to the edge just like this. Okay, I'm almost done. Oh, I'm running out a little bit. There we go. And if you put it on thick, that is okay. The thicker, the better. Okay, you don't want to stretch your glaze but make sure there's no more white spot inside. Okay, so I did everywhere inside one time. Now I'm gonna wash my paintbrush. I'll use another color for the outside. So don't forget, put your paintbrush all the way at the bottom of your cup and you mop the bottom of your cup, okay? So you go mop, 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 mop. And then you're gonna wipe it like this and you're gonna squeeze the water out, okay. Now I'm ready for the other side right here, but not underneath, okay? Now if it's easier for you to turn it this way, that is okay. Just remind, remind yourself not to paint this part. If you do by accident, you could take a wet paper towel and wipe it off and that's going to be okay. I'm gonna do orange on the outside. So I'm gonna go all the way around. But I wanna show you something when you just go like this. Look what happened. I missed some areas because they're indented. Let me get back into that color. So what you do is you need to go back in there, okay? Whenever you have a little crack, you kind of have to shove your paintbrush in there, okay? So you could dab it in, okay? So look, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna get some more of that glaze. I'm gonna come right here. And look, see what happens when I just go like this? I miss all of those lines, right? So go back in and then go with the lines or jab it in there or dab it in there, okay? There we go, I'm almost done. Now you gotta make sure there's no more white, so go all the way to the edge. Okay, let's see, I just need a tiny bit to do over here on this side. There we go, and a little bit more on this side. Okay, I'm all done, great, that looks awesome. Okay, so now I'm back at blue. I gotta do it two times, so I'm gonna wash my paintbrush, okay? So I put it to the bottom, and I gotta mop, 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 mop. And then I'm gonna wipe it, good, and I'm gonna squeeze the water out. Okay, I'm ready for my blue again. Now if, let's say, you ran out of blue, okay? That happens, and you still have to do two coats, right? You have to paint twice. 
Well, choose another color that would go well with the blue. Now, you wouldn't be able to do orange on top because orange and blue, they make the color brown. However, I could use a color like purple. That would be a great color to use. So let's see. I could do purple all the way around again. And got paint right on top. So that's going to give me a really cool bluish purple kind of color. You can still see the blue coming through. You see that? Whoops. There we go. Okay, so once you're done glazing it, okay, I'm all finished with this one. Well, guess what I have to do? Yep, I got to do the other side, right? So take your paintbrush, wash, mop, 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 and squeeze the water out. I still have a lot of orange on my paint palette, so I could use that orange again if I want to. Or I could do the same thing I just did and use another color. I'm going to stop right here because I think you understand what to do. Now, when you're ready to do the top of your cupcake, you have to make sure you don't do the rim of your cupcake, the one that's going to touch the kiln, okay? If you do, it's not a big deal. I'll wipe it off for you. I do want to go over some of these colors with you. So obviously, you have orange, yellow. Uh, I do believe yours have green, blue, purple, pink. And then this one here, actually this one here, this one, yeah, you have, and then one of them is red. And your red is always gonna be next to the purple. It looks pink, but I promise it's gonna be a bright fire engine red, okay? Um, so make sure you go to school, pick up your cupcake, pick up your paint, your glaze, and bring it back when you're done. Once you're done, Look, let me show you. This one here is all green. It was super bright and glossy like this, but once it dries, it looks kind of chalky. So you got to bring it back so it's nice and um, all glossy and amazing at the end, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Glaze your um, cupcakes and bring them back. Have a great week.